Hi guys, today I'm going to show you really cool stuff. Have you ever seen this Reels video or maybe TikTok where some guy trying to pass interview and uh, use ChatGPT to answer the questions? We will build the same tool, but we will be able to control prompt and uh, specify own instructions for assistant and get different insights. It will be useful for sales calls, interviews, project calls, or whatever calls you can imagine where you need to help with hidden assistant and you need to get some insights real time to do that we will use recall ai this tool offers you creating bots that can join different meetings like zoom google meet webex teams or even slack huddle and get real-time transcription that can be used for your backend processing so how it works you need to create bot and add it to meeting so you need to provide meeting url after that you will get real-time transcriptions and if you can even get real-time audio and create your real-time bot but we will focus on transcriptions we will use these transcriptions to process them and return back to interface some insights let me show example of a potential call with the client where you can use it to get real-time notes and that help to close this lead. Uh, I run small cleaning service and right now uh, it's just me and my manager managing everything. We get calls and messages from our clients basically who need cleaners and what happens, we manually match them with cleaners based on availability. All of this happens in Google Sheets, and so it's quite time consuming. What we need is something really simple to automate the process. A few moments later. Okay, uh, sounds like you have a comprehensive list of uh, different requirements. Let's add a note about them. Please, Jimmy, do that. Why are we waiting uh, when our AI assistant will create a list of your requirements? Uh, oh, actually, we created it. So, as I understood, you have a bunch of uh, different requirements, like sending reminders to the clients, ability to keep... 12 seconds later. Does that sound uh, right for you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, I have a short plan how we can build it. So uh, I would offer you to use Bubble and Pen and Superbase. Meanwhile. Okay, let's check how it works on an ATEM backend. So we not gonna build the same solution that I have with interface and all these multiple features. We will create simple bot that can join the call and then create some nodes and database using keyword. It's a Jimmy. This is how I call this bot. So how it works. First of all, we need to set up the meeting URL. Here we have a meeting meet google.com. Small note that recall has integration with different services like Webex, Teams, Zoom, even a Slack huddle. But Google Meet is the simplest way to set up this integration. For example, Zoom requires to set up all an API key and it they may take some time or, or requires acceptance from Zoom. So then we will use this HTTP request model. It has a post method in this URL. Be sure that you replaced server location with the yours because Recall provides four different locations. Then you need to set up authentication. It's simple authorization bearer key. And also we need to send body. We have a few settings here. We need to set up meeting URL that we has in previous model. Then we use transcription option, assembly AI. Also forgot to mention that you need to have some of transcription services, API keys. As you can see, they have a different options for transcription providers and I use assembly AI. They offer $50 for free, so then we need to set up real-time transcription, destination URL. This is the URL of webhook on NA10 that will catch transcription pieces. Other settings are optional. I just set up it for my case. You can delete them 
without any problem. And as a next step, I'm creating OpenAI thread because on the next step, we will catch piece by piece transcription from recall and we will need to do something with that. There are a few options what you can do. You can add the additional HTTP request and get full transcription of the call from recall and then send it to AI assistant. Or I do it differently. I just save this piece into my uh, dialog array in the Superbase record and then I send this piece to OpenAI Assistant. So Assistant has access to full transcription using previous messages in the thread. As you can see, I specify a thread here. And then we have a tool that can create node. So let's go back to the first scenario. As the last step, we want to create a data record in the Superbase to store results. We will store recall bot ID from recall node and also we will store meeting URL and open thread open AI thread ID. Also we prepare a dialog array here uh, that uh, we will use uh, in the second scenario. From the Superbase part, you need to create table with the simple input and output fields that has JSON B field type. Don't look at other fields, it's just for my SAS. So let's go and check the next scenario. Here we will catch on webhook our transcription from recall. It sends us a transcription like array of words with the start time and end time. So you will need to combine these words to get the full sentence. Um, then I have this Postgres uh, SQL request where I provide recall bot ID because uh, this is the only data we have as a metadata to recognize our records in the database. As you can see, we can't uh, provide, for example, metadata with our record ID. That's why we need to use input and recall bot ID that we saved in the Superbase. Yeah, so I mapped it here from previous node bot ID. And then we have a bit complex SQL request where we basically just set up additional item to dialog array. So we have output field, we have a dialog key in the JSON of this output. And then we combine a few keys to get needed object and add it to dialog. We have a words, it's a combined words from recall response and then we have the speaker id we save all this data and also we automatically add order of each transcript to be able to order them further where we display that this is how it looks like at the end so we have order words speaker language speaker id and date updated also and the next step i just check if this transcription contains a keyword genie this is how I called my AI assistant. And if it is, then we go back and process this request with OpenAI. Idea is that Recall will send you a lot of requests every second because they recognize not the full sentences, but piece of sentences when the speaker do small pauses. And we don't want to run every time OpenAI. Otherwise, you will have a lot of usage on OpenAI and also we have some limits on how many requests we can do to OpenAI per minute. From using perspective, it means that you need to clarify your response before you say Jimmy. Otherwise, if you say, for example, Jimmy, create me a note about something, blah, 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 then uh, your request uh, will be missed until the next mention of Jimmy. In OpenAI Assistant, I specified a short prompt. I say that Assistant is Jimmy, that they have a function create node, that we have a couple of cases. It works for my SaaS. So for us here, we will use on the first case where Assistant should recognize keyword Jimmy and create a node. 
If a system didn't recognize any action, it just returned none and not creating any node. So here we have in OpenAI node, we specified assistant thread ID that was taken from this insert node. I forgot to add it. Uh, so here we have another row where we specify returning data. So after updating this record, this node will return additionally thread ID, date updated, and the full dialog. Actually, we don't need all these data. We need only thread ID. And this way we will be able to use thread ID here. And here we just provide formatted version of the dialog with the speaker and the transcript uh, taken from webhook. In the node, we have a simple description for node and uh, sort of the same SQL query that updates nodes, not a dialogues, and just order and text that will be generated with AI. We specify AI variables with this from AI function where you need to provide name of variable and short description. Also, you can provide type, but it's optional. And that's all. When you will run it and say, Jimmy, OpenAI will process your request, recognize node, and will create it in the database. That's all. There's a lot of ways how you can use this solution. I would offer to you focus on one niche, build the same solution that can really help user in the real time conversation. And you will definitely find business that will buy it. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe on the channel and join our community where you can find this NATM template and other AI agents that can improve your business, can help you to find your next client. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.